In this series, I'm picking a random objective to complete as well as an unfortunate twist to go along with it. This time, I need to obtain an elytra, but I'm not allowed to use a pickaxe. Also, I have three lives. That's all you need to know, so let's jump in. The first order of business, as with any speedrun, is to get to the nether for blaze rods and ender pearls. I needed a nether portal, but how do you get obsidian without diamonds or use the bucket method without iron? I quickly realized that the answer was shipwrecks, and with the ocean directly behind where I spawned, I set off on a boat searching for a scrap of iron to make a portal. It's beautiful! All we need is three pieces of iron. Give it to me. Open. Iron! Right here. Bam! Now that I had some iron, I could set off into the nether. There was just one problem. The only food I had was either raw or carrots. How would I survive fighting any blazes? I needed to figure out how to get a furnace, and a stupid idea came to mind. Creepers. I have a strategy. I need some cobblestone for a furnace. I want a creeper to blow up some of this cobblestone for me. You, my good sir, need to explode. Please and thank you. I've got three cobblestones, so hey, it works. Hey, come here, friend. Now explode. Nice, we just need three more cobblestone. And there goes our first life down the drain. We have two more. Yikes, first night. Things are not looking great. But we still need cobblestone, so I pressed on. Uh, shield, shield, shield. Oh, I can't pick this up, I've just realized. Okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. With my food now sorted, I organized what little I had and set off into the nether. Unfortunately, we spotted in a basalt delta atop a precipitous cliff, but just to the right of the portal was a nether fortress. So I set off towards it to gather some blaze rods. Well, it was nice knowing you guys, I'm dead. that's good enough for me this is where i came from and this is where i'm going a uh, warped forest is what i want our options are traveling through nether wastes or basalt deltas i don't think this is a difficult choice Scariness aside, this is just really pretty. I don't know what it is, but I love this view here. The nether is often discarded as being generally ugly, but I just really like this. It's a nice place. There's no- there's nothing for me over there. I'm going back this way. Oh my goodness. A bastion. My first thought was we could go and mine the gold blocks. My first thought was that we could mine the gold blocks. Look at me. Look at me very close here. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I don't particularly want to go in there. Yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather chance the soul sand valley. I've just realized I was about to go to there, but I looked at that guy and I realized I have everything I need to equip a strider. Come here, friend. Let's go! Look at him! I know I said, oh, holy, keep your hands on the wheel at all times, kids. Hands on the wheel. I guess we'll go this way. Wherever the lava lakes take us, this was the correct option. Oh, this is so good. This is beautiful. I love you. I really, it's really much more convenient for me to, to get that saddle back, so. I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, I, I instantly regret that. And I just thought, let's make a grave, but I can't even dig a grave for my friend. What horrible atrocities have I just committed? I'm burying his remains. R I P killed in cold blood. R I P Strider. I just murdered him to get my saddle back. I'm so sorry. Uh, anyways, moving on with my life. Time to kill some Endermen. You didn't- I can't help but notice you're standing on top of the boat instead of getting in. And I would look you in the eyes and tell you of your wrongness, but I am so afraid of you. Quit screaming in my ear. It's just a little bit of murder, okay? You'll walk it off. 15 ender pearls and some minor genocide later. We finally have everything we need to head to the end. And head to the end we did. That is, after returning to the portal and consolidating supplies and killing a lot of animals. But with all that settled, I set off, eventually locating the portal right before making a painful realization. 
Oh, and there it goes. I'm going to try and find a cave to get down there. Because otherwise I need to dig through the stone with my my bare fists. And I don't really want to do that. So let me explore a bit. Spoilers, I did not find a cave. But what I did find was a mental breakdown after digging through stone and deep slate for an hour. So that was fun. We did it. We need to find the portal. Ah, I was like, oh, hey, I don't have a pickaxe. And then I realized, why, why, why don't I have a pickaxe? Because they're not allowed. Oh, we're going to have to break this by hand. <laughs> oh, no. Any moment now. Any, any day. It's just, it'll break one day. And... Bam. Hopefully we don't die like last time. Let's go. The dragon fight was largely uneventful. I'm sure you've seen it happen a hundred times already. I did die once, bringing me down to only one life, but after that, I took out all the towers and unalived the dragon, unlocking the end gateway. After sorting my inventory, I set off in search of the mythical Elytra, running into four cities without finding a single ship. I skipped them, not wanting to tempt death again, and finally, my efforts paid off. A boat! I never thought this day would come. Let's go up. Here I am! Well, he's gone. I don't care though! I win! Guys, the limit! I will take these. While we're here, let's get another achievement. Great view from up here. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this challenge, I'm going to be doing more of these challenges. You saw that whole list at the beginning. I'm gonna do it again. Oh. And for those of you that want to see the stats, we'll search by times crafted. And as you can see, there are zero pickaxes in this list. You can slow it down and look at that. Yep, that's it. Thanks for watching.